Hi, I'm James Townsend, and I'm going to be going through the first of several videos about basic surgical concepts for medical students. Today, I'll be going through some high yield content about stomas. We'll discuss what they are, their function and why we use them, how to identify what type of stoma a patient has by comparing ileostomies and colostomies. Finally, I'll touch on some complications of stomas and how to manage them as well. So what is a stoma? It's essentially just an external opening of a hollow organ. And as a result, they can either be natural, for example, our mouth, or artificial, for example, a surgical opening in our bowel, diverting the fecal stream to the anterior abdominal wall into a plastic stoma bag. We describe stomas with a very simple formula. First, we describe the stoma's anatomic location using a prefix. Then we add on an ending, ostomy. For example, if we had a stoma in our colon, we would just call it a colostomy. Let's use another example outside of the gastrointestinal tract. If someone's bladder has been removed surgically, how would they urinate? Well, the surgeon, probably a urologist, would have to create a urostomy, which is a conduit that connects the ureters to the skin's surface. Other examples might include gastrostomies, ileostomies, and tracheostomies. So the way a stoma is fashioned depends on its function. Structurally, there are two main types of stomas. There are loop stomas and there are end stomas. Loop stomas are created when an entire loop of colon or bowel is brought through an opening in the abdominal wall, meaning that both the proximal and the distal segments of the bowel drains onto the skin's surface. These are mainly used as a temporary measure to protect a distal anastomosis, and that's because it's relatively easy to reverse. All you need to do uh, is re-anastomose the ends of the loop and then simply drop it back into the abdomen. End stomas, on the other hand, is where one part of the bowel is brought to the skin surface and it acts as an end terminal. As a result, end stomas are usually permanent. Okay, let's talk about the function and use of stomas now with some examples. I think the best way to describe this is based on if they're permanent or temporary. We might temporarily create a stoma for three main reasons. Firstly, in an emergency, for example, if we wanted to relieve a complete large bowel obstruction and prevent rupture and peritonitis. Secondly, for the purpose of defunctioning the bowel to protect a distal anastomosis at risk of breaking or leaking. Finally, for the purpose of bowel rest, allowing for distal inflammation um, to rest and recover, this might be used in a complex anorectal um, fistula and major surgical perineal wounds. As we said before, permanent stomas are usually end stomas and are necessary when no distal bowel segment remains after resection. For example, a colostomy is required after an abdominoperineal excision of a low-lying rectal or anal cancer. An ileostomy is also used after the excision of the whole colon and rectum. This is known as a panproctocolectomy. One commonly asked question is how to tell the difference between a colostomy and an ileostomy. There are three ways to tell them apart. Ileostomies are in the left, left iliac fossa, they have liquid contents, and they're spouted, meaning that the bowel wall is averted on itself, allowing you to wrap a bag around it without the liquid stool contacting the skin. This prevents dermatitis. Colostomies, on the other hand, are in the right iliac fossa, have formed stools, and they're flush with the skin. Let's go through a non-exhaustive list of complications before we summarize. Early complications include mucosal sloughing caused by ischemia, persistent leaking resulting in skin erosion, obstruction by fecal impaction, and some late complications as well. The psychological impact of a stoma should never be underestimated. You can also have a parasternal herniation as well. Okay, let's summarize. Stomas are external openings of hollow organs. They can be natural or artificial. Structurally, they are either end stomas or loop stomas. These are more easily reversed. Functionally, they can be used as a temporary measure or they can be used permanently. They can have early complications like ischemia or late complications like parasternal herniations.